Why hello there everyone. Um today I guess I'm gonna be playing a bit of Guild Wars for you, even though hold on one second. For iron. Alright, so it'll flip <laughs> those graphics. They're terrible. Sorry. Hold on. Alright, hey guys, and welcome to this, I guess. I'm going to be playing a bit of the Guild Wars for you. For you as all. Um, these graphics are really bad right now. Just purely because otherwise it was lagged. It would be lagging so much. So I apologise if the graphics are really bad. I don't really play like this. I play it on the best graphics, which is like shiny and stuff. It's really nice. Um, and beautiful. Um, but this, yeah, this is... So this is Guild Wars 2, um, of course. I just thought I'd play a bit of this today. Why not? Oh, careful now. Okay, let's try again, I guess. Um, so yeah, these are better graphics, I think. I think they are. I don't know. I think it auto-detects what my graphics are, depending on how... Yeah, I chose to auto-detect, but how, like, lag is and stuff, and you what's going. Um, so yeah, so I thought I'd play a bit of this to you today. I said in the update video I wouldn't be playing this as a series, because literally I've been playing, my game time now is hours, and I'm level 13 at the moment, um, yeah. So anyway, just to fill you in on quick some information, I'm a char right now, as you can see. These guys are massive, like, compared to humans and stuff. I don't look so big compared to these guys and all that lot, but, um, when humans... And zero and stuff come by. Check the lake for parts from the submarine. Those oh, blasted dregs are everywhere, and I can't swim down to retrieve them. What do you want me to do? I'm on. Okay. So yeah. So, so as you can see up here, these are like the dynamic events I was talking about, which come up. And of course, I can. I've never really done this bit, um, but I can fire like harpoons at these bad boys um, to get them to. I can't really see what's going on here, but to kill them and stuff. Oh flip, I'm gonna die. I need to get out of the water. Okay. So there's like a drip effect here as you can see. There's a lot to explain. That's the thing. I wonder if I can find salvaged artifacts though at the bottom. I'm from okay, there we go. There's a one. So these are like little dynamic events that happen and stuff that they want me to check for some marine parts so I get them and the bar goes up on how like how much they like me for doing this kind of thing for them I see there's loads of rock drakes around so. now this is a completely new area for me I haven't been to this part of the map yet um, let's just let it load in <laughs> it's really laggy for some reason for like recording and stuff um, so I'm here at the moment and this Pretty much whole whole area here is the char starting area kind of thing. This is the char starting area here, and then the whole area there is the char lands. Of course, this is the human lands. These are the sea stories and stuff. This is where the Zora come from. The I think the the Norn come from about here, and the Silvari come from about here. And yeah, it's quite interesting. Um, Right now, of course, I'm on. I'm in this little area, which is the Escalum Basin, I think. Oh, whatever. Um, I just finished the little local. It's not a quest, really. It's like a local thing as I go along, like a local hero kind of helping thing. That's my story quest I have to complete. That's the next destination I have to go for my story quest. Um, as you can see, these little hearts. They usually like this hold on they usually like pretty much like that um like that kind of thing with the little like black in the middle because you haven't really helped anyone but once you help them and the this bar here has gone right up um of course it goes like that and means you've completed that little local hero thing and they have gained your trust kind of thing um yeah, like that. There we go. 
so I'm going to do this quest, I guess, and then I'm going to like probably go or something. I'm going to leave this as a preview for you guys. I might play some more in updates and stuff, and just all like little guides or just play a bit for a little video. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I need to get. I'm going to get these submarine parts, complete this little mission, I'm gonna walk around for a bit, I guess. Um, so there's loads of these. I'll tell you. I don't know if there's any more. I don't know if I have a bar or anything upon death. Um, like health meter or something. Like breathing meter underwater. It's probably literally the only time I've done this. Fighting underwater is not the best in my harpoon right now. I have to, as you see, there's like these little skills at the bottom. And if you're watching, like you're playing other games and stuff, you would think that. Hold on. You would think that. You, I would have to choose in like a skills and traits kind of thing um, to upgrade the skill, like by through skill points or something. Um, but no, it actually goes on how much experience you have in this game um, with that weapon. So how much time you fought, how much times you've like killed other things, um, that kind of thing. Like how much you fight. As you can see, I've got all these from my sword at the moment. Uh, from like fighting with other swords and all that, um, but yeah, I've gained that through just fighting pretty much. So it's experience. You can still go to the hero bar here, go to your skills and traits, and get some stuff. But okay, as you can see, by the time it does this, oh, careful there. Did I skill them or not? Right, so I, so another event I think has just died for me to do this. Um, I'm not sure. But there's separatists under here, which isn't good. Cause I don't know who these guys are, but I don't know who they think that what they think they're doing, just messing around the place. But I fought them before in like a little thing. Oh, look, that's cool. You get like blood coming out. Um, but yeah, these guys are annoying. They don't like. Nothing. And they're level 12, I'm level 13, so they're basically the same level as me. So I probably don't stand a high chance with my harpoon with about one skill, as you can see. I have to train more with that, I guess. I like this water effect. Um, so, yeah, I think that's enough. What? Oh, they don't really like me. So these rings on the map show where the dynamic event is taking place, and if you go within that ring, um, or in a distance between it, uh, it will increase your things. See, that's the instance over here, over there. Um, that one, which is the usual inheritance on the map, which I need to go to. Um, but I'm not going to play it for this mission because it's my story quest, so I want to like concentrate and stuff on that. Um, but I don't know where to go. What I need to look at? Cause it, oh, he's yelling at me for traits. I don't really get these traits at the moment. I haven't done a lot of looking around with these. Um, doesn't seem like I can spend any. Training for adept traits. Oh, I guess. Oh, okay. So I'm going to have to receive some training for that. I can only imagine what they're doing to I my submarine down there. It's enough to make Keep my tail turn. What the flip just happened? <laughs> so, of course, these separatists, I guess, are attacking them. And... As you can see, his health bar's going down and stuff. Um, that ought to do it. Oh, I succeed. <laughs> so, of course, if you're in the area, you succeed the events, even if you don't even do them. And other people do it for you. But you get experience. I think you get more if you take part. But, oh, well, I've got some experience from that and stuff. So, I want to get to at least level 15 or so. Until I want to do my inheritance quest, I guess. Um, this usual inherit uh, unusual inheritance quest. Um, of course, these like painted areas are not where I've explored because you can see they're not as detailed as this, for instance. And once you get in the area, this whole thing will just open up. Um, like earlier, I opened the whole of this up. Um, and then you get the Black Citadel where they start and stuff, which is really cool. I like that place. It's like a whole city. 
probably was like the best city in the land but it's probably not. <laughs> See there's a, there's a Norn I think. I think that's a Norn. Or just a really tall human. Um, I, it looks like a Norn for me. Um, I think my next character is going to be a Norn. Uh, a Norn engineer. So I can like fire guns and stuff. I was going to do a char engineer. Like, I really regret now I don't do it. Not doing a char engineer because it's like the Iron Legion which is like the main legion area for the whole of Ashford Plains and like Black Citadel um, for the engineers and I am part of the Blood Legion because I'm a warrior, warrior. Um, and as you can see I think it's around here Blood Legion Homeland so I think that's where my <laughs> homeland is and this whole area here, the Scalon area, is like the Iron Legion. I don't know. That's what I think. Anyway. Um, of course I'd love to go to Kryter. I think Kryter is probably the nicest place to be. Which is the human area. Over here they've got like a massive fort, like city. And like Kryter, which is like, the whole area. The Lion's Arch, I think, has got like a place for a load of ships and stuff. Like flying and stuff. You see like one of the trailers, it shows like Lion's Arch. And it's like a whole port massive area. And it looks really like really nice. So when I'm a human I really want to go there and stuff. Or I just explore as I go along with my char character. Of course my char's called Captain Springy. Um as you can probably see here, level thirteen warrior. I haven't done the most stuff in this, like for instance you have like world oh, have like world v world and this thing I've not done world vs world yet it's like a little mini game thing that you can do like with people like those instances and stuff you can fight with people like fight against people do pvp and stuff I haven't tried any of that yet um I really want to do at some point but yeah I don't really need to be here at the moment but I need to be down there I believe um I was thinking about just going here and exploring the area over on the right for a bit and then I'll probably go and um, see you next time for some more of this um, but yeah let's wait till we explore it this is a brilliant game it's like the best MMO that's supposed to come out apparently um, I really like the gameplay compared to like things where you just collect um, you know, just collect stuff by killing things and stuff. I think here's an event, which is the Battle for Ascalon City, which is the whole of this area. Um, even though I've already taken part in that, these events are just always there, to be honest, where just a load of armies are and stuff. Um, but there's ones with like a bar or something, which are the dynamic events, just but just pop up where like thing people like enemies just take sieges and stuff like that. Uh, upon your town, upon the area, or like into the town and stuff. So I just found this area, I believe, and something's not loaded here. Some people haven't loaded. That I need to. Oh, someone's killing me. Okay, okay. Wait, who's shooting me? My right, stuff isn't loading in. Okay, there we go. Right, he's done it for me. <laughs> so of course these are the NPCs, which you can revive, because they all. They all die because they're basically all the same level as me and stuff. See, these are level 11s right here. Um, we keep turning. We keep and firing. basically, they're just like a lot of them just walking around doing the daily business, um, bringing like crates or cargo and stuff to town cities and stuff. But they end up dying on the way because of these scale on like warriors and stuff. Look at that view. It's lovely. Of course, this is some more views over there. For some reason, the render of the area isn't loading very much. Probably because of the graphics going down or something. Uh, how do I. Ogre supplies. I guess I'm just going to break these. <laughs> Why not? I think it will help with this little thing that I have to do now. That's the stuff. That's the stuff. Yeah, look, ogres just push back. There you go. Help lessen control the ogre control of Caden Forest. That's what I want to do, and then I can revive these guys as well. Something's firing at me. What's oh, this bad boy? 
Ah, uh, Flippy's level 13, so I guess I'll have to do this. So, of course, I have these abilities. Really nice, I like some of these, they're really cool. Um, the sword is epic. Um, I really want my shoulders, like shoulder pads, but I haven't had them in a while. Of course, that's why I just go crazy on my skill. Um, I really want shoulder pads and stuff. Because I look pretty rubbish at the moment still. Um, I think I get your shoulders soon. I have to be level 15 to wear the ones that are in the shop at the moment. So of course that's what you get. I'm gonna break these ogre supplies. I'll throw grenades. I'll throw like a, a bomb at them or something. That guy's part of the Yorks uh, fan guild. Yorks cast fan guild. I want to join that at some point. <laughs> I had a guild, but I had to leave it for that. But then I couldn't join that because I have to look on the website or something. Um. Yeah. Anyway, I'm just taking care of these ogre supply crates. It's taking some time to do it. He's just like taking out all his rage on that. <laughs> I don't know what I can use. That's quicker. So I can greet these guys and stuff. More ogre supplies. Ogre weapon stack, I see. Now he's gonna take all his anger again. Taking that anger out on these flipping things. On these ogre weapon racks. <sighs> Stupid ogre weapon racks. How could they do this? Oh, there we go. Sweet. So, there's some ogre supplies back here. I just saw. Which had, like, no health. So why are these people here? Oh, so I just found a point of interest there. Um, there's also like undiscovered vistas, which undiscovered vistas, which you can see the whole area and stuff from there. I'm not really sure what's past this. It's a level 40 to 50 zone, I believe. Looking at that. So yeah. Um, so this is completely new to me. I don't know why I'm doing it. Um, but it's been a long video, so I'm gonna see you guys next time. Um, for the ne next video I upload, I guess, uh, check out the videos that I upload, um, if you're just watching this for the first time, I guess. Um, I'm only going to be playing parts of this every now and then, because I'm playing this on my own, to be honest. I'm not going to make a character just for YouTube or anything this time, because this game's just too good. And I want to concentrate more on this. <laughs> so, you can get it yourself if you want, but this is just a preview series kind of thing. I'll get yours too. Um, when I from what I did. See you guys next time. Uh, I'll get my guy to wave at you. Come on. Come on. Come on, say goodbye. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Come on, say goodbye. See that he's not too, he's not too, he's not too happy about it. Alright, let's try again. <laughs> See you guys. See you guys next time. Let's do some dancing. Yeah.